Hello everyone, and welcome to eDraw Max. Today we're going to create a simple flowchart using eDraw Max. Before we begin, let's understand, what is a flowchart? A flowchart is a type of diagram that represents a workflow or process. The flowchart shows the steps as boxes of various kinds, and their order by connecting the boxes with arrows. Let's create a job hiring process flowchart using eDraw. First, go to the File menu and click on the New option. Here you will find the list of flowchart types. Choose Flowchart from the list and then double-click on Basic Flowchart. On the left pane, you will see all the necessary basic flowchart shapes required to create a flowchart. And on the right pane, you will find options to format these shapes. At the bottom middle section, you will find a ready-made color palette to color these shapes. So let's start our flowchart by dragging a shape from the left pane onto our drawing artboard. Type in your custom text by just double-clicking inside the shape. You can make use of arrows around this shape to create the next element in your flowchart. Clicking on any arrow will add a new element in the same direction. So click on the down arrow, and then choose your next shape. Similarly, just double-click inside the shape to add the text again. Continue to click on arrows and start building your flowchart. One thing to notice is eDraw will also create connectors automatically in the direction of the arrow. You can also double-click on the connector lines to add custom text, which can be a very handy feature. Drag another new shape from the left pane to create a new branch in your flowchart. You can link both branches by connecting reference points between any two shapes. Just drag using your mouse and then connect it. Similarly, continue to build your flowchart under this new branch. If you make a mistake and you want to replace any shape, just go to the Tools option and select the Change Shape option. Selecting a new shape will automatically replace the selected shape in your flowchart. This is a special feature of eDraw Max. Continue to build your flowchart with new branches, creating new elements per your job hiring process. At this point, we need to add a summing junction symbol, which connects multiple branches. So to add this, go to the Symbols menu, and then click on Predefined Libraries. Browse through the list, and then click on the Flowchart option. Under this, select Miscellaneous Flowchart Shapes. This will add a new set of shapes into the left pane. Drag the summing junction symbol onto your drawing artboard, and connect the multiple branches to it. Now format these shapes by coloring them. To do this, select the required shapes and then go to the right pane. In this section, depending on your style, choose the fill type and color the shapes. Now, let's add a title to this flowchart. To do this, go to the Home tab and choose the Text option. 
and then place the text box wherever required and type the title you need. In order to fit the flowchart into a single frame, right-click and choose the Fit to Drawing option. This completes the flowchart. Let's export this to PDF. To do this, go to File, select the Export and Send option, choose PDF, and Save as Regular PDF. Once it's exported, the flowchart will open in PDF format automatically. Thanks for watching. To get the most out of eDraw Max and all its great features, subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one.